Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and another video and gameplay. So Layers of Fear is out. Although I don't have any experience with this game before, it seems that it's a remaster of the previous versions with some other stuff, I'm not sure. Psychological horror. And that's all I know. I just going in completely blind. So let's start the game. Let's see. What is it about? I once had it all. My palate was sated. Nostrils stimulated. Standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing. But I'm back. Taking what's mine. And here's earlier. Hey, here we go. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. Was it? Same. So, yeah, there's no other stuff to interact with here. Dear. Congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. What about the rest? A boat will arrive once a week with supplies, and if you need anything, there's a phone on premises. Fishing gear, fruit pool, and inspirational stay, the management. Yeah, flashlight, please. What? The author the of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. Oh, 
I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Love you. Your... Shit, someone is here. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything's here liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. no, it is very specific on the timeline. I, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for. What the hell is happening? Let's check the other side first. I think it was going... Down, yeah. Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Hmm. Nice thing about the game so far is that they read these texts. So you don't have to read them for you. Okay. I think here. Do we have inventory? I don't know. Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Your thing is why it doesn't read the whole text. Just part of it sometimes. Okay, so this way is blocked. Ah, uh, okay. I guess something is going to happen now. Oh, yes. Maybe I have to go back to my room. Start writing. Yep.
What the hell? Why did the doors keep getting closed by themselves? Need a flashlight. This game is too dark. Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. darling i'm calling to let you know i'm here can you believe the agency already called to see if i was working that's insane did you at least have time to settle in a bit how's the lighthouse inspiring spooky haunted all of these things i was just looking around and it's certainly something how are you do the meds work don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. Well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. Hey, get back to writing, I guess. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Okay, so I guess there are multiple stories at the same time. That was the writer, this is the painter, right? So rats are present in all the stories, I guess. We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of you highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. But I saw rat. Superior all bourbon whiskey. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. 
distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Baby. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I <laughs> will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. You pick this letter. Little Winnie and partners got a rat problem, call us now and I forgot about it. Why do you keep some of the items and some not? Weird. Ow! <laughs> Shit. Can I go upstairs in this one? I really need a flashlight. Report card, reading, CDFC, written communication, BBCD, mathematics, blah blah blah, music. It's a nice looking water effect. The hell did they fuck up the length? What? Check that room too. Let's go upstairs. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. <laughs> so, the phones are not the problem. Even before the phones go, read this. Sending text messages instead of talking.
Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, she was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of its harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Open the mirror. Roller pendant. Sorry. Couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. I think the babies walk. Hush, Daddy's here. Just walking and picking up objects. That's a creepy picture of <laughs> what the hell is that? Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Mm. 
Where this one? What was that sound? What the fuck is this? Finally, something. Huh. This was the art for kids. <laughs> Storybook. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! Let's see what door it can open. There was a lock door here. I use items. Does it automatically use the item and it's correct? Do I have inventory? How does it work? It doesn't tell me anything. We're going to get back here later in the game to open the stuff. Their eyes keep closing themselves. That's it. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Do I have to paint? Get it right this time. Okay. Two souls, get... so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life. Betrayal of everything that made them both artists. And yet, they clung to it. Am I a new character now? Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. A picture of Dorian Gray.
just out of reach. Oh, oh shit, what the fuck? All of these pictures are some creepy elements in them. Paintings, I mean. I guess not this one. Or this one. They don't understand what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. Just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. It's the same painting that we saw in the first part, I think. This one is obviously so creepy. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely. First step is the hardest. Same room? Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Not that rough. Okay. What? Never forget. I wanted to go to the other side and open the chest, although I don't have the key anymore. Pictures are all creepy. Creepy. What's this? Oh, I'm finding these pieces of the painting. You see. I was wondering what's that there. It's getting creepier. I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it.
So his wife is a musician and he is a painter from what I am understanding. changed again I get out of here Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. I don't. And fight her, it will break you. Same painting. Oh. It's a giant rat. Look closer. Move the mouse left, right to choose a cylinder. Move the mouse up, down to select a number. Why make it so hard? Oh no. Just need to use mouse, you can use keyboard too. Like mouse to flame. No matter what we did, the fireplace just wasn't enough to warm this room. Oh, wait. Numbers. Six. Nine.
This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. For our family? Or just for you? Go on. Tip the scales. Which color should I choose? If I turn back something. Changed. Green of her eyes, the red of my paint. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, just that I have to use both of these. Don't tell me it has consequences. the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved What? Oh. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities. Where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Past holds back. She will bridge you. I think we should drop the Dakota here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. The painter's story is much longer than the previous one. I have a new set, less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted. to look through it. Let's 
Put that one. And I look. Is there a way to look to this one? I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not possible. Does it work? Ah. Ever run out of rain? How can two people? Who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> That's the monster we are going to face. One part is left. Something drop. Oh, the woman is not in the picture anymore. He's out. Oh shit! Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please. Consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. That's a child's handwriting, bro. Right?
same room again. Going in circles. <laughs> okay, what's changing? So, uh, no. Maybe I have to go back. No, nope, it's locked. Was the right choice? Body borrowers, feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Right. My hand that wrote the letters when using it. Peace. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of... and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, quote, As critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient, as the In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... I have 
have a responsibility. Finish it. What? There was some other text there. What happened? Watch out, watch out. Uh oh. Someone's there? You can see there's something moving there, right? Linen. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. Canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Skin? Figured you'd be up all night. So I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Use with wild. Abandon, blah blah. A lot of flavor. Paint. Rose door, burnt umber, sienna brushes, air fresheners, apples, booze. Booze? 30? What does it mean? 30 bottles? Huh. We're back. The beginning of the game. I guess I have to go back to my room and... Uh, where was my studio? Is it here? Here, I think. How can two people who once loved each other so fully... I uh, read this before. Hate even now, loss, you deserve it. Finish it. Body borrowers. 
Yeah, I think these collections are going to be here. The fine keys. First, I looked for a canvas. Oh, that's the skin. And the must be sharp. sharp. Okay, I see. Oh. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. Basically, oh, these are all the stuff that I found. I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. Sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. It's not like I'm some drunkard. I know how to handle my liquor. Fire in your office just to stop me, don't you? You hate me that much? Oh, fucking hell. Don't push me away. The hell? Is that his wife? Picture? Painting? That for that lock? What was that? This game needs to be a little brighter. You want this as well? to find the code Suddenly everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard
All I asked for was an edible meal. At least one that had any taste at all. This is my house. You can't keep locking me in. You're so afraid of fire. How can you cut off the means of escape? Light switch on, emergency stop, emergency operation. I have to close. Oh, whoa. What? To fight death. Defy entropy. Defy the flames. Finish it! Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. Any shit. Another piece. To be undone. Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. Calculations you asked for. You need to also. Same thing. Ah. Oh. 
tree. There's footprints again. Someone came out of this paint. That's not for this door. Is there any other door here? No. Okay. What? Which one is it then? Where is the key? to the key that I took from here. And yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Lice, my spalled, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? Is that his wife's voice? After she went crazy? Morphine prescription, patient name, date, William Green. Stay there. Stay there. too dark not again can I open it now wanted to have a huge garden. Green calmed your nerves, you said. Is this the right door for me? Oh. 
Uh oh, this is one of those paths that I have to choose, I think. The hell? I always loved painting blood. Is this the right door for you? Shit. Uh, we have to choose. Go back to the beginning, I guess. Oh, come on, how many times are you going to throw yourself at me? Okay. Should I follow? Which path should I follow? Oh, blood or green? I don't know, let's go here. No accidents, no weakness. Just fire from the depths of your soul. Finish it. I need to fight the darkness. Hello? What? Locked? <coughs> Is another one? Light banish echo. Okay. Darkness makes you see. Since my last letter, things only got worse. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. These people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the 
house from breaking apart can't be that hard. It seems it was hard. Why can't you understand? I'm working in here! I swear, if I'm interrupted one more time... I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. Bones? What the hell? Stuck. He looked so delicious when the flame burned him out. Uh -huh. is gone. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled what? it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Whose bone was it? Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Miss one of the painting. Can I finish it? started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot.
relationship counselor telephone number March 3 this time we are really going Sit with me, like in the old times. Solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. Hey, hello. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. The 
came through here. Cut. Sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in your area. And see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way. Still haven't found any coal. Open the door. Hmm. Yeah, I know. What What about the code itself? Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous... Yeah, that was the painting that we saw in the beginning. So creepy. I'm not sure if it's here or not, but no. He kept a critique of that. Yeah. So I'm still not sure how to... Where is that lock anyway? It's out there. Oh, what? I think something is still here. You haven't checked. I have to... Oh, I see. What number? Oh, I see the number there. Ten, seven. Is it upside down or seventeen, nineteen? Somehow does it work? Ten. Maybe it's on their way.
The note that we found says the other way, but... The other thing is maybe this number is upside down. Only clicks on 10. No matter what direction I move it. Mm. The code is not there when you turn on the light. see any other hints that's the only thing we have I've hooked. I can put it between the books. He'll never find it there. Kenny, this is the handwriting of a baby, I don't understand. It can't be his wife's handwriting. Or maybe she's really that bad. Is it one of those? Yeah, I think we have to. I can't escape too. Damn it. This time I'm going up. Well, it keeps going and <laughs> Is it a dead mouse? What is it? It's weird. Can't interact with it. Is it too late to turn it all around? 
I think so. Does it do anything? Cycle somehow. What? <laughs> what the hell happened? Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Oh, fur in the water. No baths for me. I'm not like her. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. I am to be honest. I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. And now they're fucked. <laughs> So I'm wondering if he is responsible for that accident or incident whatever. This thing, this family won't work if you keep undermining me. It will break apart. Raiders block. Done. 
Also, they had a baby. What happened to their baby? Or they were expecting a baby, I'm not sure. Mm. But... seen anything lock what the hell I was there here. My game. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted <laughs> badly. I I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house. Hmm. Oh, that's just irresponsible. Yeah, so damn the baby. Restless memories. It's all your fault. It's fuck. Hell. What? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Here again. You put more and more locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish. this family could accept.
Okay, I think that's a code for this lock. Six star three eight five. Jeez, man. Are you insane with those candles? You will burn. We have electricity. Oh, fuck. He's back again. Look at, get out, lock, get out, get out. Holy shit, I have to find the coat. Get out, look at, get out. No, you get out. Dark. Fuck our codes. Oh, she's lived without electricity for thousands of years. I can't. Where? Something here at least. Where? No. Where? Where? The last one. Get out, get out, let me be here. Get out, let me be here. Where is Get out, 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 where is Get You gone? Since we find the code, or are you still here? Oh, she's still here. Six one four. Ah. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> this is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. Finish it for fuck's sake! No one's talking. All right, 
Let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. Yeah. It's her handwriting. It's very terrible handwriting. What do you have? Can I go on that side? Think so. Um, hey. Somehow, oh. I can't go there. What's happening? <laughs> jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Back to the writer story. Okay. 
Now we have to play as this right. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to end this episode here. The game looks really cool. I mean, visually is really interesting. Uh, it's telling a very good story. Gameplay wise, it's just basically walking and clicking and interacting. And you don't have any hard puzzles or very complex puzzles so far. And from our standpoint, I haven't scared a lot so far. <laughs> But I'm not sure. I mean, we have to see how it goes next episode. But the overall, I mean, the gameplay and the the way that it presents and telling the story is really cool and very interesting. I haven't played any game like this before. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And take care. Have fun.